what's up guys it's your girl tip and welcome back to my channel and happy new year i can't believe this is my first video of the year and honestly this video was supposed to be up two weeks ago i filmed it it's a long story with getting it edited and getting it uploaded to my channel so i am refilming it and i'm actually refilming it off my iphone um the background is obviously different because i did not feel like going downstairs to film this so we are sitting here in my bedroom on the floor <laughs> so i wanted to go ahead and record this video make this a little short but not too short but not too long but i just want to go ahead and make a quick video for you guys about envying youtubers um i really want to talk about envying youtubers looking at these youtubers in a way of envy and wanting what they want and idolizing them and not being satisfied with your own life or the things that you have going on um and i want to speak about this because this is something that i have been dealing with and something that i didn't even real, kind of realize that i was doing but i am so grab you a drink get you some water some wine some hennessy some patron me got me a little Pepsi. it is what it is grab you a drink let's talk let's talk all right so i wanted to talk about Indian youtubers for several reasons one being that i kind of had to take a step back and look at some things that i was doing or internalizing in my life and really acknowledging how i was feeling about certain things and how certain things were making me feel and in doing that i had to take a look in the mirror look at myself and ask myself some hard questions so one thing that i notice is yes i am on youtube yes i put myself out here on youtube some people may look up to me some people may look at my channel or look at the things that i have or whatever i talk about and be like oh whatever i notice that i follow certain youtubers um for instance nietzsche b absolutely love her adore her and her family I loved Jamie and Nikki um, prior to their separation and divorce. Um, I even watched the Royal Family, which I'm still confused as to how I got on to them, but I watched them. I love Dior and Ken, um, DK4L. I, even though I'm like their older sister, I just love their content. And I realized that I got to a point where I started to look at these people's lives and after watching a vlog or watching something going on with their life, I would feel a type of way. Not jealousy, not hatred, but envy. And I would feel sad about my life. And I wasn't even realizing that for a while. Ugh, if I keep doing this, I have like a little cold and my nose is itchy. Um, but yeah, I didn't even realize that for a while I was envying them and that I was really internalizing how they were living their life and how i wasn't living my life up to like their level and i had to ask myself like Tiff, what what the hell is wrong with you so for instance i love nitra b i love her and her husband colton and their son and i just absolutely love her vlogs i love how the family dynamic is and how they interact with one another and because i love that husband wife and child um, family life I, I enjoy watching their vlogs but then I would realize like I would feel a type of way afterwards you know like I'm a single mom that is not how it was supposed to be that is not how I signed up um and it was a complete shock how my relationship ended and I became a single mom but that's a story for another time but anyway I would see them do family trips vacations go out to dinner just do all this stuff and then I would just get mad like, what the F? Like, I'm not doing that with my son. You know, my son and his father, we don't go out to dinner together. We don't, you know, take trips together. And I would get sad. I would get sad and depressed. Like, what the F? To the point where I couldn't even watch her vlog sometimes because while she has such a positive and radiant spirit and energy, I couldn't take that. I couldn't take seeing a life that I would have loved to have for myself or that I still would love to have for myself and then click off that 14, 15 minute video and then be back in my stuff. You know what I'm saying? I love watching Dara and Ken and their travel logs. I'm like, damn, they traveling, they traveling. 
You know, even though I got a good 12, 13, 14 years on them age-wise. But I love how they're living their life. And I would be like, well, I'm not traveling. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. But I also got to realize, like, YouTube wasn't hitting back when I was that age. Was YouTube even created? Hell if I know. But YouTube wasn't hitting when I was that age, their age. And I'm proud for what they're doing and how they're living their life. Young, black couple. And they're doing their damn thing. But I got to internalize it again what I'm not doing in my life. So I had to tell myself to take a step back. If you ever feel that you are envious of other people and not to the point where, you know, it's, it's, let me say this right. Never envy someone to the point where you are unhappy about yourself. Being motivated by someone and how they're living and how they're moving in their business, having that motivation from seeing them and wanting to get up and go and do what you have to do versus sitting there envying them and wallowing in any type of pity about what you don't have. Then if you ever feel that way, that's when it is time to stop log off, deactivate account, remove app from phone, and take a break. Take a break and figure out why you're feeling like that and realize that these people show us what they want to show us. They show us 14, 15 minutes of their life. If they choose to show the bad, they show the bad, but they show us what they want to show us. So we can't be so involved in their life to the point where off of 14 or 15 minutes or a couple of Instagram posts, we're like, oh my God, my life is shit. She got this 5,000 square foot home. Well, I got me like a good 14, 1,500 square foot home, but it's my home. I own it. They driving a G-Wagon and a Bentley and a Benz. Well, me and my Chevy Equinox, we, we good. About to be paid for. It's mine. It's fairly new. So I had to stop looking at these people and envying what they have. And I really wanted to come here and just tell you guys, like I know there's other people out here that feel that same way, that look at people and they envy them. Don't, don't envy them. Cause I strongly and truly believe there ain't nothing out here in the world that anybody else have that I cannot get if I don't want. It's all about work and prayer, and belief, faith, energy, and what you put out there. You know, like, again, just using my personal situation, someone can look at me. I've had people tell me, I've had a lot of people tell me how proud they are of me and like, oh my God, you're successful, you're young. And this is pre-baby, you know, like you got this going on, you have these degrees. I just be like, well, I don't care about these degrees. I don't care about being smart or having this job or this. If I don't have that person in my life, then I got that person in my life. And I was like, okay, I got my home, you know, and then that relationship went to shit. But I got a beautiful blessing out of that, which is a beautiful baby boy. But I say all that to say, Never look at what someone else has to the point where it makes you not appreciate what you have. If anything, it should motivate you. But if it does anything besides motivate you, if it does anything to make you feel bad about yourself, your present place in life, that is when you need to remove yourself from that. You need to. And I had to remove myself. I had to take like a YouTube hiatus, take the Instagram hiatus. Ooh, child, don't get me started on Instagram. Instagram is a whole nother story and a whole nother beast, baby, because there are so many people that I have unfollowed in the last four months alone before New Year's. Um, you know, we all about protecting our peace in 2020. Protect your peace, protect your peace, protect your peace. But I realized I started to unfollow so many people because there was no substance to their content and I wasn't getting anything from it. Like, I don't need to sit here and watch how you pair some damn thousand dollar Givenchy pants with some fucking Yeezys and a Fendi shirt. Like, for what? That's not what I, that's not what I'm into. Like, I have a child, I have a job, I have a home. I'm not spending my bread and my money on stuff like that. Baby girl, I will take my butt to Target and DSW in a second and make that outfit work and still look good. But I say all that to say, you have to evaluate where you are in your life. And it is easier said than done. But be grateful and thankful for what you have. Again, I've had people tell me even after I had my son, like, damn, you own your own home. You have these degrees. You have a nice paying job. You cute. You smart. But that didn't mean anything in a big like scheme of things because I was unhappy in other areas. And that's just something I have to work on on my own. And I, I know that I've had people be like, Tiff, I wish I had your life. And I'm like, girl, well, I wish I had this person's life. And it's so true when they say the grass is not always green on the other side need to water your own grass tend to your own lawn 
um and if your lawn is patchy and dirty and needs to you knew you know have some new sod placed down and treat it with seeds and water then you do that and watch how your lawn grows and your lawn flourishes so that's your life your life will flourish your life will grow but don't look at these youtubers don't look at these big youtube influencers these beauty gurus all this and look at them i used to look at these beauty gurus with dresser drawers of makeup 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 i'm like i want that i want that i have a lot of makeup i have more than the average person and i don't use half of that stuff so i know that i can look at all that stuff and at the end of the day some of that stuff is also very wasteful because i know that i won't use it <clears throat> um but i want you guys just to kind of know that never feel bad about your current place in life if anything use your current place in life if you're not satisfied with it use that as the motivation to take yourself to the next level and to excel do not get caught up in what we see on social media of course this video was really geared towards youtube influencers because i feel like a lot of us watch these families and these family vlogs or these single people in their homes how they're making all this money off of youtube and how they're living this life and we get so enthralled and involved in it that it kind of makes you look at yourself a certain way if it doesn't then more power to you but if it does like in my case it did and i had to i had to check myself i had to catch myself you know i am all about taking detoxes we detox our body we need to detox our mind and then we need to detox social media real talk because again when you start looking at other people's lives and what they show and if Envy and jealousy is a, it's a fine line. It's a fine line between envy and jealousy. But if you feel anything other than happiness, when you look at other people's success or look at how they're living their life or look at the fortunes or the good fortunes that have been placed upon them, then that is when that is your cue to stop. That is your cue to fall back and take a moment. Um, I know that my current situation is not going to be my final situation. <laughs> I know that there are bigger and better things that will be coming for me in my life, for me and my son. And I have to know that too. You ain't driving that yet. You're not in that big home yet. You ain't, your bank account look like that. But my bank account ain't on zero. I own my home. I'm about to own my vehicle in about two more months. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm not living paycheck to paycheck. I'm not, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? So I have to be grateful for the things that I have while I'm working towards getting to that next level to achieve the things that I want. So I don't again, I don't want this to be a long video, but I just wanted to say like, y'all don't envy these YouTubers. Please don't, please don't because again, they show us what they want to show us. I show you what I want to show you. I only show you what I want to show you when I want to let you see it. If I want to show you the bad, I'll show you the bad. If I want to show you the good, I'll show you the good. You're never going to see everything because I don't choose to put every single thing out there, but I show you enough of what I want. And that is the same thing with these YouTubers, these beauty influencers, all of that. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Um, but that's it. I don't want to talk too long. I don't want to ramble. You know, we always be saying that, like, I don't want to ramble. And it'd be already 14, 15 minutes into the video. But if you have stuck around for this long, please go ahead and hit that like. And please subscribe to my channel. 2020 is going to be the year for me. I am putting that out there. I'm manifesting that. And I'm going to say 2020 is going to be one of my most successful years yet. And I want you guys to come on this ride and this journey with me. So like this video, subscribe. If you felt anything that I said in this, please go ahead and put that in the comment section below. Interact with your girl. And as always, I will see you all in the next video.